Today we've come to Leeds Castle. That's not Leeds in the north, that's Leeds in Kent. It's a very small little village. In fact it's so small they recently had the whole place carpeted. But they have got a castle and according to their blurb it's the most beautiful castle in the world. We'll just have to take them at their word. It is nice here though. It's the first place we've been since the lockdown. And in long. fact, it was the last place we came <laughs> before the lockdown. It's summertime in Britain, of course, which means that it's gloomy and miserable. Stevie Wonder made an album called Hotter Than July. We didn't record it here. It's been a bizarre experience. We've had to book, we've had to get a car park ticket, they've told us where to park in the car park. But one nice thing is, you have to leave a gap between the cars. So, it means you've Bums got... between <laughs> toilets as well. <laughs> Every other cubicle is marked off, can't go in there. But the nice thing about it is, nobody's going to bump your car door with theirs. So, every cloud, as they say. Every cloud, morse. <laughs> and then uh, we had to go to a little caravan, show them our tickets. They had to verify that we'd booked. And then they finally let us in. Not much of it is open. Obviously, the building isn't open, but then I think castles are a bit like Spanish princes. You've seen Juan Carlos, you've seen them all. This really is a very pleasant place to come for a little walk. Of course it costs you an arm and a leg to get in, but then again the ticket is valid for a year, which is fine if you live local but not much help if you live in Glasgow. Leeds Castle has got a lot of American redwood trees and they have very soft bark so you can actually punch it with your fists, as Julia is now going to demonstrate. Normally, I'll just be punching Stephen. <laughs> it's very soft and like cork. This is a younger redwood. It's a bit less flaky, but it's very soft. We're operating a one-way system here. So uh, obviously quite a lot of the place is not open and you can only go round one way and out the other. I bet they still charge you the same amount to come through the gate though. I would like to tell you some of the history of Leeds Castle, but I actually don't know anything about it. Which is a little bit embarrassing really, considering the number of times we've been here. It said Leeds Castle gets its name from the ancient Saxon manor of Esledes, recorded on this site in the Doomsday Book of 1086, following the Norman Conquest of 1066. Absolutely bloody freezing considering it's July, but that's global warming for you. This I suppose is what they're referring to as the new normal. You've got yellow barriers everywhere and lines painted and arrows to tell you where you're allowed to walk and where you're not. And the toilets look like a crime scene with yellow tape plastered all over the doors. It's a, ner it's a terrible mess. And that pretty much concludes our little trip out to Leeds Castle. It's a lot shorter than we normally do. So much of it is closed off. Never mind, at least it got us out of the house for an hour or two.